Ferguson. I'm very impressed, very impressed by your performance of lying. <laughs> Total lies. Total lies. Total. I heard the warm-up comedian, we call him a comedian, he's not actually a comedian. <laughs> I heard him before I came out, and he said to the audience, did you hear the phrase tonight? Yeah, he? he said to the audience, I need an orgasm of energy! <laughs> <laughs> you think I didn't hear an orgasm of energy? I'm like, well, I don't need that! <laughs> You keep that to yourself. <laughs> an, orga as an, an orgasm of energy is supposed to an orgasm of what? An orgasm of just like laid backness or something? Yeah, yeah. I will now reenact an orgasm with no energy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Craig, that was a remarkable performance. How? I've researched, that's why. <laughs> Right, Jeff? They call that an orgasm of lethargy. Or exactly, an orgasm of lethargy. You ready? Here it comes again. <laughs> Still puts a smile on your face, but more of a kind of a... <laughs> yeah, there you are, just like that, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it is... <laughs> you know, one night we'll come out, we'll just do the show, won't we? Yeah. No. It's a great day for America, everybody. It is. No, I'll tell you why. I t let me tell you why, because it's fascinating. I heard the news that Clay Aitken, have you heard about this? Clay Aitken from American Idol is running for Congress. Yeah! 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 Yeah, about damn time is what I heard. <laughs> run, Clay, run! Run, Clay, run! Come on! That's enough, that's enough. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. This is great. This is fantastic. Do you know the material that'll be for me if Clay Aiken becomes a congressman? <laughs> I can come into work even later every day. <laughs> <laughs> Clay Aiken running for Congress. Now, now, American Idol is very different from Congress, you know. One, one, of, one, one of these things is a sad reality show for talentless wannabes, and the other one is American Idol. So right there! <laughs> They're different. <laughs> Do you know that the British tabloids are reporting? They're like, we're reporting something. Right. right. Yeah, here, here's a story. It's true. It's in the British tabloids are reporting that Bill Clinton once had an affair with the British actress Elizabeth Hurley. Why not? <laughs> She was, the one, she was the one in Austin Powers, so she's used to hearing, that'll make you horny, baby. <laughs> Bill Clinton as Austin Powers, that's Ooh, a like great that. idea. It's good. That'd be awesome. It's very good. Dr. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> you are super naughty. <laughs> I'm gonna have to spank you. And also, Guess what happened? Do you know what happened? <laughs> it's a great day for America. Well, parts of America, it's not a great day for the Northeast. They've got that huge snowstorm. It's no. crippling the, nor the, the cities on the East Coast. The storm is expected to come in two waves. That's why I'm calling it multiple snowgasm. <laughs> <laughs> the Winter Olympics, of course, start on Friday, but if you want to see people flipping over end over end in a frozen wonderland, just watch people on the East Coast try and drive to work and all the snow <laughs> and the ice and the sleet. It made the, this morning's commute very messy. It was very, very messy. It was messier. How, hang how on, messy? hang on, I'll get some. Yeah. Messier, messier than Donald Trump's bedhead. There, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, Jeff. Jeff, how uh, messy was the commute? Uh, messier than a salon after a Kardashian backwhack. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Yep. 
Messier, how, how messy? Messier than a bathroom at a chili cook-off. <laughs> You're right, I also hate me. <laughs> Jeff, any more messy ones? Messier than Stevie Wonder's finger paintings. <laughs> the hell, man? Yeah. Too far, man. Yeah. Too far. Yeah. Too far. Knock it off. I'd like to apologize for, on behalf of my appliance. <laughs> now, this weather, there's only one group of people that like weather like this. That's weathermen. You know, that's when they get to use all their cheesy puns. Green Bay, more like Green Burr. <laughs> Illinois, more like Chillinoy. <laughs> Hoboken, more like, holy crap, my balls just receded into my body. <laughs> Boken. That last one was a bit of a stretch, I admit. But listen, but the weird thing is today also happens to be National Weather Person's Day. That's a real thing. <laughs> run, Clay, run! No, it's... <laughs> it's strange that Blizzard fell on National Weather Person's Day, because I never knew that weathermen get their own day. They just get one day, though, as opposed to sharks, who get a whole week. This is because... <laughs> this is because sharks possess an actual skill. <laughs> Today is National Weather Person's Day because of the birthday of John Jeffries. Now, John Jeffries was America's first weather observer. Do you get a picture of John Jeffries? There he is. That's him. These, that's him there fingering his instrument. <laughs> but here's the thing. John Jeffries got his weather training at the University of Aberdeen in Scotland. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> right, which is rough because predicting weather in Scotland is very tricky. You know, it's like, today, crap, tomorrow, crap. <laughs> Let's have a look at the 10-day outlook. Crap, 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 <laughs> drizzle, more crap, and then maybe a fight on Saturday. <laughs> See, in L.A., the weather people here are very cheerful because the weather's nice. They're like, oh. <laughs> and they all give themselves weathery names. What's that guy? Um, oh, Dallas Rains. Dallas Rains. Yeah, yeah he calls his name, his name, calls himself Dallas Rains. like call yourself Stormy Johnston or something. <laughs> Johnny Puddle. <laughs> Bob Fogg. What's the weather like, Bob? Foggy. <laughs> you get any? Uh, yeah, Chet Stream. <laughs> You're right. Hey, listen, I still haven't let the Stevie Wonder thing go, to be honest, anyway. <laughs> These days, uh, weathermen rely uh, on technology. You know, they're always talking about how the Doppler 5000 radar is. Doppler, fi Doppler 5000. Doppler, yeah, yeah. Which reminds everyone that it's really the machine that does the forecasting. And it's, uh, you know, a human taking credit when a robot, a robot is doing most of the work. <laughs> yeah, in your dreams, you skinny bastard. Kiss my ass. Thanks for, for good sidekicking there. Yeah, sorry. Kiss my yeah. ass. <laughs> Does Andy Richter ever say to Conan, kiss my ass? Andy Richter isn't plugged into a friggin' wall, man. Not on the show. I'd like to apologize on behalf of my appliance. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it, man. Leave right. it. Uh, anyway, I, I see uh, weather people. That's what I'm talking. No one sets out to be a weather person. It's like being a realtor. You know what I mean? It's like a Plan B thing. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm lying. <laughs> no, I've always wanted to be a realtor. I didn't care about being an actor at all. <laughs> The only people, you know, it's the weather, you become a weather, if, except for the weather girls on Univision. Oh, yeah. Oh, holy crackers. <laughs> That's what weather should always be like. Sunny with an 80% chance of caliente. <laughs> you know, uh, Jackie Garrido, remember Jackie? Oh, she was, you got a picture of Jackie Garrido? There she is. Hey, see? Whoa, I think Florida just started to point north. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Back, everybody. We were right back.